Hi guys, this is a follow up video to my previous video talking about downloading Command and Conquer Red Alert for free. Now everyone was really happy about this, um, but then I got a flood of messages and comments saying that people couldn't install it on their XP or Vista system. Now what I'm actually going to do is give you a quick guide on how I installed my one and how I've got it working. I'm on Windows Vista, um, so if you have XP then this should work for you. Um, there may be another way. If you know of anything then please let me know in the comments. Okay, so let's get started. I downloaded the Red Alert Alloyed disk from the EA website. I'll provide the link in the description. Um, I use 7-zip to extract it. So 7-zip is a free download. It's a raw file that you end up downloading. So you end up with a folder here. You can see Red Alert 1 Alloy Disk. So I'm just going to go into this. You get a bunch of um, advertisements and Red Alert 3 files. We're just going to go into Red Alert 1 again. So here you can see CD1 Alloy Disk .iso. This is the file we need. You'll notice there's an XP underscore patch, but I haven't used this patch for what I did. So you may want to try that out, but um, I couldn't. I didn't use it for what I wanted to do. So you then need to mount this because it's basically a virtual CD image. Now I used Magic Disk as you can see down here, Virtual CD, that's another free download. So I right clicked here, Virtual CD ROM, and I basically mounted the disk, went to mount, and I went, then went to the Red Alert Alloy Disk, double click that, and I went to install it. Now when you do that you'll find if you go to computer and then you go to the CD1 here, which has got the Red Alert disk in, it'll probably say something like cannot install on this version of Windows, um, I think it's 5.1 if you're on XP or um, 6 if you're on Windows Vista. Now all you need to do is right click the setup application, go to properties, go to compatibility and run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 95 because it is, as you saw at the beginning, um, Red Alert Windows 95 edition. So you're basically running it in compatibility mode for Windows 95. So once you've done that, you'll have it installed. Don't install the DirectX because obviously that's a really, really old version. So don't install that. Um, you don't have to install the chat or the online components. Um, but after that's all installed, you'll find this shortcut on your system um, or it'll be in your start menu. Now, if you go to run it after you've installed it from the disk, you'll probably end up with an error similar to this. It says the procedure entry point smap ls underscore blah 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 cannot be located in the dynamic link library. Okay, so what you then need to do is patch it. Now, you'll notice inside the disk, now this may be where you could use that XP patch before, but I went to the disk and I went to the patch directory here. Now, what I actually did was um, basically copied it, all of the files inside this and put it into where I installed um, Red Alert game. I pasted it straight into here and ran the patch. Now I've already done this so I don't need to show you again but you basically run the patch, it will start patching your things. Now you'll be able to run the game but you'll probably find it, it errors out after the introduction or something like that. Now what you basically need to do as a last thing to get this running is basically search for all the executable files inside your folder. So you can see here I have all these exe files. Now all I did to get it running on my system was basically right click properties, compatibility and run it in compatibility mode again for Windows 95 because it's obviously the Windows 95 edition. So all I did was apply that to all of these exe files and now it runs perfectly. So I've got a working version of Red Alert Windows 95 it will put you back into a, like a really low resolution, but I think you can change that in the options. But that is pretty much how to set it up on Windows Vista and get it running. I'd show you it running, but the color goes all funny, but it does work. I can assure you of that on my system. So make sure you get pretty much everything you want to set up running in Windows 95 compatibility mode. And then that should all be good and you should be able to play this Red Alert game. So please let me know if this works for Windows XP, it works on Windows Vista for me. Um, if I've missed anything out be sure to leave a comment or if you use that other XP patch then leave a comment as well. So thanks for watching my video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.